Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Thursday the 1st, and today was a, I don't know, semi-productive day, um, got a handful of things done outside, I was out there for probably five and a half, six hours it seemed like, it was a nice day, so I was out moving around a bunch of the bricks and stuff, they tore up when they um, did my roof, cleaned up all the debris I picked up, probably... I don't know, I'm going to guess about a pound and a half of nails. It seemed like there was nails all over the place. Um, got all that junk picked up. Got a bunch of the bricks kind of piled up. I'll do something different with that side of the flower bed next um, next spring. I'll probably do something with it. Have me on mind up exactly what I want to do. I'd like to build it up about a foot higher than it is right now, or that it was, I guess. And backfill a lot more dirt and plant some more stuff in there. I just got to figure out what I want to use to make the little retaining wall. Thinking about possibly um, filling it with like using like wood, just like pallet board, that kind of stuff to make the little wall. Probably do like a woven type pattern. So I'll have like both boards going up and then sideways both, kind of like an old picket fence, but super tied together. And if I do enough of an angle kind of pointing back towards the house, it'll give a lot more strength and not be as likely to fall over. I might also go ahead and run a couple steel rods, you know four or five feet deep in the ground to kind of give it plenty of strength and you know stability there. I really don't want to have to redig it out in two or three years when it falls over and collapses to have to start over again. So not sure exactly what's going to happen there, but just kind of getting it cleaned up, getting it ready for the, I don't know, I guess for my plans after that, because I really didn't do nothing with it except just clean up all the nails or most nails I could find. I've got my um, big heavy duty magnet that I borrowed from my neighbor on a big long handle to go around and pick up nails. I told him I'd keep it for a few days if he didn't care and he said he had no need for it back anytime soon and if he did he'd call me. Um, if I He needs it before I get it back to him so went ahead and I'm fair I'll walk around there every day or two with the magnet again and just keep working myself around there constantly. I'm also thinking about if I find one on sale the wide like 36 48 inch wide version of it at like Harbor Freight super cheap I might go ahead and actually mount that thing to the front of my um, riding lawnmower, just leave it on there all the time. I figure there's really nothing going to be hurt by having it on there. And then if I need to take it off, use it for something else, I can just pop the quick release off of there, or whatever. I can make some kind of hanger for it, and then go ahead and use that to other projects I need. So I think I might make a small one for my push mower, which I also used yesterday. Um, my ex's yard, she thought it needed mowed again. She said it wouldn't need mowed this year, so I'd put all my stuff up. She now decided that she didn't need it mowed because the dog was having trouble getting through the grass because we had not had much grass growth this year at all. And then with the rain we've had recently, the yard, of course, sprouted up really fast. So I went over, figured if I was going to mow her stuff, I might as well go ahead and mow mine also. Um, parts of my yard needed it. Not all of it needed it, but it was mostly nothing else. I had the mulching plug in, so I used it just to mulch up my leaves and that. The house next door... Um, Mowed a good chunk of it, not all of it. The top part there didn't need mowed at all, so I didn't really mess with it. There's a couple spots in the back I probably could have mowed a little more there, but my trailer, actually both my trailers are over there at the moment, and I've got a big crate pallet over there in the way, so I didn't bother getting it trimmed up perfectly nice, but I'm really the only person who ever sees that part of there, so I could really care less. So I'll get it all groomed up this spring once I figure out what I'm going to do over there. Um, other than that, um, not much going on. Went to the gym, tore up my knee again a little more. It was hurting a little bit last night, and then tonight the thing was just really jacked up. Having a hell of a lot of trouble. Barely made it through my 5K on the treadmill, which was ridiculous. Knocked out um, some time on the elliptical machine. Went back to the treadmill for a little bit and couldn't do crap. So went over and did um, a couple of the weight machines instead. Uh, knocked out, I think, probably 70. Um, I do 10 um, reps. And I went seven rounds on that. So I had, I think, nine or ten different machines. I'm not sure what I had last night. I've got two different sets of machines I do each and other night and go from there. So other than that, not much going on. Um, just going to call it a night, hit the shower real fast, and get some Bengay on my knee and probably put a knee brace on it and call it an evening. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.